What's up guys? Welcome back again to another React session. Today we're going to be talking about how to get started with Create React App built by the Facebook team. Well, Create React App is actually a really great tool that really help us speed our development environment with not having to go with a lot of configuration, okay? Now, for some of you that are getting started, you definitely need to have Node installed. For those of you that don't have it, head over to the website and make sure you download the recommended for user one, okay? All right, head over to Google and type React App, create React App. Once you do, head over to the first website you saw. And the only thing you need to do is if you head over to Quick Overview, and you just need to run this command. Now, for some of you that have a lower version of NPM, as you could see that they're talking over here, if you had something lower than 5.2, and in case some, for some of you that don't know which version you have, you can do in your terminal npm-v that will tell you which version you have. And if you have something lower, now I have 5.6, which is higher than 5.2, that means this command will work for me. For those that have something lower than 5.2, you can head over this link and you will find a different way to install Create React globally into your computer. All right, I'm going to use, I'm going to expect you guys to have something greater. I'm going to go ahead and run this and into my command. I'm going to go ahead here and copy it. Now, the my app, the command after the Create React app, which is this one, it's actually how we want our application to be named. I'm going to call this one client. And then this is going to build an app, an app for me called client with the Create React app. And there we go. Now the same process we're gonna sit into our app. Our app is no longer my app. Our app it's my client. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Sit into client. And once I'm inside the client, I can do npm start in order to start my application. But before that, I would like to open my app inside a text editor that I have, which is a VS Code text editor. And if I do this, and for some of you that want to do the shortcut that I did, if you head over VS Code, you can do Command, if you're on a Mac, Command Shift P. For those of you that might be on Windows, it might be Control Shift P, whichever one works for you. But the first one, if you see where it says Install Command Path, if you don't see it, you can just look for it. Command Path, the first one, install this, and the command should be available for you after you restart your terminal. Anyway, in order to start our application, we're going to do this command, npm start. Oops, I misspell it. npm start. And as you guys can see, it's reading the script. It's starting my development server. It's, it's technically starting everything that I need. And once we... And we good to go by having, you know, something that say, welcome to React. We are having a react application now once you have this code open head over the s or c this is where all the codes going to be at and inside the app.js let's actually do one change to make sure that it works i'm going to change welcome to react application to are you are you really working and save this and the cool thing with react create react app once we hit save it will auto refresh the browser for us and then inject a new changing into it. Now we know for sure that this is working. But well, also one quick thing that I think it's super helpful for those, for some of you that might be coding with responsive, the network tab, if you have a phone that is on the same network as which means the same Wi-Fi as your computer is on your phone, you can head over to this link and you should be able to see the page that you're working with live and any changes you do, it will actually get injected into your phone as well, which is one of the beauty about it, okay? That's everything I have for you guys. Definitely, you know, make sure that you get everything figured out.